If you've ever wanted to control your iPad from your Mac computer or control your Mac from your iPad, then Apple's universal control feature lets you do exactly that. So today I'm gonna to show you how to enable universal control on your iPad and your Mac and how this can be a game changer for your workflow. So you're gonna to need to actually enable this setting on both devices. So on your Mac, you'll wanna to go to system settings, click displays, and then scroll down to the advanced section. And then you wanna make sure that push through the edge of a display to connect to a nearby Mac and allow your pointer and keyboard to move between any nearby Mac or iPad are both turned on. Next on your iPad, go to your settings, general, AirPlay and continuity, and then you wanna make sure cursor and keyboard is checked on this. Once you do this, you're gonna be able to move the cursor back and forth between your iPad and your Mac computer, and then you'll be able to start typing on the iPad to actually type on the computer. So now I can use my computer's trackpad to control the iPad and to type on the keyboard as well. If you wanna disable this quickly on the Mac, you can actually go to your top menu bar and you can shut off link keyboard and mouse to the other devices and that will disconnect them so you don't have to worry about what you're typing on one thing, activating the other device. You can also get to this from the control center and you click the little blue computer there, that'll actually unlink the keyboard from the other devices. Another way you can quickly turn this back on is by going back into your display settings and then you can easily enable link keyboard and mouse to your other devices. One more way you can customize this is you can go to your displays, click arrange, and then you can move where the iPad is in relation to your computer. So I've got an extra display on right now and I wanna move this to the right side and then I want my iPad to be on the left side of my computer to make it even faster to go back and forth. Another really cool feature with this is you can actually grab an image file and drag it over from your computer onto your iPad and import a photo into the notes app, which is faster than putting it on the cloud or air dropping it over. This is huge for my workflow because I love to type notes on my iPad and if I wanna quickly go over and type a note on my iPad screen from my computer, I'm able to just use the same keyboard without having to actually move over to the iPad keyboard itself. So this basically turns your iPad into an extra display without actually being an extra display. It's still a completely independent device yet still connected to the MacBook Air. So if you haven't tried Universal Control yet, I highly recommend it. It's a fantastic way to boost your productivity. What are your favorite Universal Control tips and how would you use a setup like this? Let me know in the comments below what you think. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel for more tech content.